We begin tonight with the disturbing violence that has sent shockwaves through the normally quiet community of White Rock. Within two days, two people were randomly stabbed, one fatally. CTV's Abigail Turner reports on the search for any suspects and the terrifying last moments of a young man's life. Police tape, RCMP cruisers, and search dogs. Not normal for the scenic seaside city of White Rock. But in just 48 hours, its picturesque pier has been at the center of a shocking crime scene. A tragic event like this happens in uh, White Rock, and what is normally a very uh, uh, you know quiet and safe community, it's very very concerning. Colinder so he was sitting on a bench with a friend near the pier Tuesday evening when he was approached by a man and fatally stabbed. The guy came from the back, punched him on the head, and stabbed. Him in the chest. His roommate Harry says Kilwinder went to the pier after his job as a plumber. Hours later, he was woken up by police. I was just sleeping, and the two officers were at, at my bed. Like, oh, what happened? I did something. Then they, when they told me, like, my, my brother is like, he's no more. It's so shocking for me. Two days prior, a young married couple were also sitting on a bench when a stranger came up behind them and stabbed Manpreet Carr's husband in the neck. I'm absolutely horrified to see this level of violence is completely unacceptable. It's heartbreaking. Witnesses describe the suspect as black, wearing a gray hoodie and a baseball cap. While RCMP wouldn't confirm if the stabbings were connected, the public safety minister says police are looking for one man. Police are throwing a uh, significant amount of resources at this. Uh, they are confident uh, that they will catch the individual. In the meantime, RCMP have stepped up patrols around the popular White Rock Pier. If we are not safely on the public space, then where we are safe? In our homes? Like, should we just don't leave our homes? RCMP are insisting the community is safe, but with the violent attacker still not arrested, people anxiously wait for any updates from police. Abigail Turner, CTV News, Vancouver.